Hey everyone, welcome back to Social Media for Business. This is week four where we will be discussing building a social media strategy. Uh, think of social media and how getting people to your various pages is like fishing, right? So you wouldn't just walk outside and be like, hey, I'm fishing. Like that doesn't work. You're not going to catch any fish, right? That you're going to need to go to a lake and have the right equipment and, you know, ideally know what kinds of fish you're trying to catch. Uh, you need to have the right bait. And then, you know, you then you will get the fish right to succeed on social media. Uh, if you're trying to get, you know, more followers or subscribers or uh, trying to sell more of your product, you want people to watch your video. You want people to come to your store. Uh, if you want to succeed on social media, you have to have some kind of strategy. One of the things you'll need to heavily consider is knowing which platforms are correct for your business. It's not necessarily going to be the platforms that you love. For example, Facebook is non-negotiable. Like you will need to have a Facebook page, even if you don't like Facebook. I don't love Facebook, but you have to have it for business. Why? Because the majority of people are on Facebook. A lot of times people will go to your Facebook page before they look for a website. Then if you want to branch out going to like LinkedIn or Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, it kind of depends on what your business is. Uh, if you are a B2B, business to business, meaning your business does work with other businesses, that's gonna change what platforms you go on uh, as opposed to if you are B2C, business to consumer. And we're gonna work on developing a content calendar, which is basically a plan of when and where you are going to post your posts. This next assignment I have for you is a social calendar recreation and you've got extra time to do it. It's not due until the 17th. I've given you a template of a social media calendar that I'd like you to use to analyze the posts of a small business and everything they did on Facebook and Instagram for the month of August. You can choose the business, just make sure that they are active on both Facebook and Instagram. The template already has some content in there uh, for you to take a look at and so you understand kind of what I'm looking for. But you'll need to clear that out before you can use it. This week's discussion should be fairly easy. I want you to find a brand in your field that you think has a strong brand identity. You probably already follow them on some form of social media. When choosing a brand for this discussion, remember the five elements of brand identity. So visual brand identity, voice, values, personality, and message. All right, that's all I have for this week. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.